Hello, in this video, we are going to discuss about information functions in Power BI. Call as uh, has one value and has one filter. Both looks alike, but there is a major difference between these two functions. Let's look at the definition and the syntax and then try to implement it in PBI with the help of an example. Here is the definition and the syntax. Has one value returns true when the context of or column name has been filtered down to one distinct value only. Otherwise, it's false. So, important point here is has been filtered down to one distinct value. Okay, so I'll make a note of this line: filter down to one distinct value, and it takes uh, one parameter, this column name. And return value, it returns either true or false. Now let's go to the other one, has one filter. Returns true when the number of directly filtered values on column name is one, otherwise returns false. So important point here is directly filtered value on column name, right? So let's uh, try to review this function with the help of an example. And again, it takes one parameter, that's a column name and return value either true or false. Now let's quickly go to PBI and then with the help of an example, let's try to implement these two and also try to understand what, what are the main difference between these two functions. Uh, I have this sample data set in this PBI file and which has uh, order ID, brand, product and quantity. So ID is unique, each record has a unique ID but if you notice brand right so let's say apple it has a product iphone x and let's say samsung it has galaxy a51 and then galaxy a10 galaxy s20 plus etc so each brand has different product or models and also the quantity sold okay so now if i go to the report here i have created a simple table here uh, with order id brand product and quantity and i have two slices of brand and product and just uh, have pasted the definition here just to have a quick overview. Now let's try to understand uh, how this has one value function works. So let's start with has one value and then later uh, try to implement has one filter and try to understand the difference. So before we go to the function itself, uh, we need to understand there is a major difference between direct filter and cross filter. So let's say I want to apply a, a filter on brand. Let's say if I apply a filter on the brand, so it means I have applied a direct filter on the column brand, okay? So since I am directly applying on that column, but let's say I'm going to filter out a, a product, let's say iPhone X here. So when I apply a filter on this column that is product, it's going to apply a cross filter on the column brand because when I apply a product, there will be some uh, link, right? So there is a uh, link between the brand and product. It's in a sim single table. And whenever I select something, it also applies that filter to the other column as well. So this is called indirect filter or cross filter. So uh, this has something to do with has one filter function. And that's the reason I'm stressing this one. So now let me remove this filter and let me show you again. When I apply a direct filter on a column, that's something like this. It's a direct filter for a brand, okay? But for the column product, it's a cross filter. Similarly, when I apply, let's say uh, iPhone X here, so it means it's a direct filter for the column product, but it's a cross filter for the column brand. So this is the difference between direct filter and cross filter. So now let's try to understand uh, the first function has one value. So as you can see here, returns true when the context for column name has been filtered down to one distinct value only. So I'm stressing it again, one distinct value only. So now let me try to create a one measure here. And call this as brand. I'm gonna use the column brand. So has one value example one equal to use the function as one value so i'm going to use the column brand 
and hit enter. So now let me bring this to the first card here. I'm getting false, right? Because returns true when the context for column name has been filtered down to one distinct value. But here it's not filtered down to one distinct value because there is no filter I'm, and I am getting three values. So it's not one. So now if I apply a filter on the column brand or the slice of brand, I'm getting true because now it's returning only one value that is Apple. And that sense I'm getting true as an output. So now let me use control and then select Samsung. Let's see what happens. I'm getting false because now it's returning me two values, Apple and Samsung, and hence I'm getting false. So this is how has one value function works in PBI. Okay. And now let's go to has one filter function. Okay. And try to understand. And again, I'm stressing here returns true when the number of directly filtered values on the column name is one. Remember, directly filtered value on a column is one. Okay. So let me create a new measure here and call this as brand has one filter example two has one filter on the column brand hit enter and now let me bring this bring this function to the card here i'm getting true because i have selected samsung okay let me remove this filter now if you notice here i'm getting false because it's first thing it's returning me three values here and that's the reason I'm getting false. But now let's say I select Apple here. I have selected Apple and it's returning me one value and it's a direct filter. So this direct filter is an important point here, okay, in this definition. So now if I apply two, I'll get two values, even though it's a direct filter, but the return value is Apple and Samsung. So it's not one distinct, but two, and hence I'm getting false. Okay, so now remove this true. And if I remove the filter here, I'll get false. But an important point here is, it should be always a direct filter here, okay? So now even if I go to product and apply iPhone X, right? It's cross filtering and I'm getting only one value brand, but it still shows me, it will still show me false because it's not a direct filter, but a cross filter. Let's do that. So select iPhone X. I'm getting one value for this column brand, but still it's showing me false because it's not a direct filter, but a cross filter for the column brand. And that's the main difference between has one value. Has one value, it doesn't matter whether it's a direct filter or a cross filter. It's, it, it gives me true when there is only one distinct value has an output for the column brand but for has one filter, it should be always a direct filter plus the uh, one, one value as a written output, okay? So that's the main difference between uh, has one value and has one filter. Now let's try to understand where, where we can use has one value, okay? I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say I wanna create a measure here, which will have a quantity, but for the total, instead of uh, the sum uh, 131, I want then average. So how do I do that? So create a new measure here. Call this has, has, let's call this as brand has one value. Example three, I'm gonna use, if let's say brand, sorry, if has one value, the column name is brand. If has one value, then I want the sum of quantity. Else for the total, because your total will return me uh, false because it's not single value. Average of bra else average of 
quantity. Hit enter. So now, wherever there is single record, I'll get the total. So now let me bring this here. Example three, where is example three? Okay, it's here. Okay. So now if you notice here, wherever it's a line, right? It's a row. I'm getting the sum of that line. That's like I'm getting the right value. But as I put, uh, if you look at my formula here, I have mentioned if has one value, yes, it has one value for the column brand and hence so I'm getting quantity as a total. But for the total, which will return me false here, I'm getting an average of this instead of a sum. This is how we can use has one value function in PBI. This was a simple example. There are other complex ways to use this particular function. But for a beginner, I think uh, this is a good function to start with. So with this, we are closing this video. And if you have any questions, uh, please drop me a note in the comment section and I'm gonna revert back to you. Hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching. Have a great day.